What's going on guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the Fighting Sports Tri-Tech Tenacious Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Uber of the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junkie rhythms right Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'll be doing a review of the Fighting Sports Tri-Tech Tenacious Training Gloves. These are a 16 ounce glove. I got this in a Velcro closure with a black and white color scheme. They also have a white and black where the primary color is white with the accent color being black. Fighting Sports, or should I say Title, offers this anywhere from 12 to 18 ounces and only in a Velcro closure for this particular model. Uh, Fighting Sports is actually a Title branded product. Um, they have a logo that's kind of similar to the winning, but their actual glove line has definitely, definitely a different variety of training gloves with the main focus being the Tri-Tech technology, which is basically a triple layer density of foams, anywhere from a high density to a low density uh, between a sponge foam and the latex. So three layers of different kinds of foams to give you that impact absorption that we're looking for. So let's go over the glove design. Um, the first thing you notice is that it's a pretty attractive glove. Again, the logo reminds me of winning in a way. Fighting Sports is a title product. It's been around for quite some time now, and you can see that it has a, a Fighting Sports logo on the back of the hand right here. One thing I noticed about the logo was the placement of it. It was a little bit sloppy. The other glove, my right-handed glove, the logo was a little bit more towards the thumb, where this one's kind of pushed out a little to the outer edge of the the glove so that's just more an aesthetic thing it doesn't obviously didn't affect the performance of the glove but it's just the little details that you look for um, you can see it has a fighting sport logo on the thumb with the tri-tech printed on the back of the cuff and a plastic embossed patch on the wrist strap you can see it is a velcro closure it also uses a very similar wrist support to um, what you would find in the everlast protex series of gloves where it has that triple cuffed or that triple rib design on the cuff and that's really there to really give you a lot of support around the wrist area again you can see that's a full velcro closure right there everything is hundred percent top grain leather with this glove on the inside palm you can see there it has a tri-tech on the grip bar and a fully attached leather thumb on there so overall, a really attractive looking glove. It has a medium profile to it. It's not too compact, it's not too big. It's about right the right size as far as a boxing glove goes. So overall, a really cool looking design glove. Um, I feel it's kind of a, a good blend between not being too fancy, but having a good amount of graphics where it's not too loud. Now the quality of the glove is pretty good. Um, I definitely like the leather. You know, Tidal does a really nice job of using some top grain leather with some of their higher end gloves and using leather throughout. The glove that this one reminds me of the most is the Everlast Protex Evergel gloves, except a lot better quality. And whereas the Evergels use some synthetic along the palm and some mesh and they kind of go cheap on certain areas of the glove. I like how Tidal uses leather throughout the entire glove construction, um, which I really like. So nothing synthetic. You can see that the glove has a polyester nylon liner on the inside that's very smooth and comfortable. And the, uh, the tag right here, the glove is made in China, 16 ounces. Um, but you can see the quality of the stitching could definitely be better. One thing I noticed about the leather on some of these fighting sport gloves is they, when they cut it, they, they kind of do a sloppy job of, of trimming it. And then when they stitch it onto the glove itself, 
it could just do a little bit better job. You can see how it kind of wrinkles and bunches up right there. Again, on the, the other side where the Velcro closure is. Again, you can see kind of the open leather right there. So just the aesthetics of it to kind of clean that up. But the stitching along the edges of the glove looks really good throughout. The palm side, the piping is done very nicely. The inside of the hand, the liner is really nice and smooth. It doesn't bunch up at all. You can see the thumb is done very nicely as well. The colors are really good. The black is nice and deep. The white color on the, on the offset looks really good too. The white has a really nice sheen to it. The leather itself is kind of a matte feel. It doesn't feel very slick like a Reyes glove. Um, slick and shiny, should I say. Um, you can see that the punch surface and the leather is done very nicely throughout the fingertip. Everything is bonded nicely on the fingers and on the thumb. So quality wise, you know, it's a really nice quality glove. Um, the only thing I'd say is just doing a little bit better with the way they cut the leather and how they stitch it around the wrist area. Um, so performance of this glove is exceptional. One thing I really love about this glove is how protective it is and how comfortable it is. So when you use this and you're hitting this with a heavy bag or you're hitting the heavy bag with gloves, should I say, um, you really feel that it absorbs the shock very nicely, almost like a gel lined glove. A lot of gel gloves tend to be really top heavy. With this glove, it has a nice balance to it, but you can really lay in your shots. You can, you can tell that their intention of when they made this glove was for power punchers. Um, you, your hand is in a really nice position. I can really roll my hand over, and it really has a nice broken in feel from, from the beginning, from the get-go. You don't feel like the glove is very stiff. So the leather is nice and flexible. And then the hand compartment is perfect. I love the hand compartment on this glove. The thumb isn't awkward at all. I don't feel like my thumb jams on the inside whatsoever. It's, it's really nice and comfortable. I don't feel like there's too much foam that pinches against it and makes my finger go numb. It's a perfect position right there. The palm side feels really good too. The wrist feels really nice as well. Um, and again, the finger compartment is a good size. I think this glove would fit hands of all sizes and the fact that they offer it all the way as low as 12 ounces all the way up to 18 it gives you a good um, good variety as far as sizing goes so if you if you, even if you do have really long fingers or you're a big dude or or should i say you're a bigger person in general i think these gloves would definitely fit you and you would be happy with these even if you do have smaller hands as well i have medium size and these fit me perfectly finger compartment feels really nice the grip bar feels really good too and again you can make a really good uh, fist with that when you're hitting the bag and you're using these for sparring they're very protective the triple layer of foam does a nice job of dispersing the impact um, as well as giving you good good feedback so i definitely love the performance um, of these gloves and just the protection overall that tri-tech technology um, you can definitely tell it really works with this glove um, the balance of the glove as well the way they distribute the weight it doesn't feel very top heavy at all so you can feel like the glove has a good amount of weight throughout the entire frame of the glove and not all in the knuckle area um, now cost wise these gloves are about $119 and I think that they're worth every penny to be honest with you at 120 bucks uh, you can sign up for the title newsletter and get 20% off if you sign up for that if you haven't already um, but and, and on the same note they also do sales throughout the year if you're willing to wait till like Black Friday you can get like a 40-50% off sometimes they have just that um, and even at the $120 price point, I still really like these gloves. Um, anything below $100, then these are still in my opinion, just because of how comfortable they are and, and how well they protect your hand. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box on where you can get these gloves. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.